Hello YouTube, it's Chris with Kerbal Career Mode, Part 9, the EVE Probe Mission. In this mission, I will be sending a probe to EVE. I will get an EVE orbit. And then I decide to crash the probe on the surface. Uh, this netted a bunch of science, so even just doing the, uh, the transfer and the deep space between, uh, it would be the high Kerbal Kerbal orbit, the sun, so whatever that is, Kerbal, I think. And then the high and close to uh, Eve, and then uh, the upper atmosphere, and I, I ran out of battery power, so that's all I got. But if I send back anything, um, I'll definitely put parachutes on it. I didn't have parachutes on this to save on weight. And then I can... Um, you know, get a, a lander down there and, and do a lot of atmospheric stuff. I, I still want a couple other science parts that make the mission worth it, so I'll, I'll just wait until I get those, but I should have enough points after this to get them. In order to get the plane, or launch plane, correct, I have to wait like about a year, or it's about 100 and something day, 110 days or 150 days. So I use my timekeeper um, ship that's in a, a, a high orbit around Kerbin in order to go a thousand or ten thousand times time acceleration, and then I'll just switch back. Yeah, since this has happened, I've actually put in uh, the Kerbal alarm clock, and it works way better. To I was kind of guessing, you know, keeping track in my mind on what day it was. So this is this goes on for quite a while. Uh, which I'll cut it out, but this is basically how you do it if you uh, if you want to get a uh, efficient, actual, correct plane launch. All right, so I finally get to my launch phase angle to Eve. Do the burn, and I'll do some a myriad of mid-course corrections in order to get up a good encounter with Eve. And then I end up getting into, um, you know, a break arrow breaking maneuver over Eve. And I, I made a eccentric orbit, which worked out well because uh, I could do high and near Eve science while I was waiting. And then instead of going to, I didn't have a lot of fuel left, so instead of going to another, um, you know, a moon of, of Eve, I just decided... To, to throw it into the atmosphere and end its miserable existence because I forgot to put parachutes on this. Uh, not so much forgot, but I, I didn't think of it as a important because uh, I was trying to save on weight just to get an idea of what it would take in Delta V to get out there. So uh, now I know I could have I could have fit two parachutes on this series of um, probe and, and not had an issue. but. Anyway, it's a nice view of uh, Eve and its purple glory. Uh, it reminds me of Barney. The dinosaur. Sad, yes. So here's my final air braking maneuver that's going to get me into uh, a collision course with Eve. Uh, I was kind of hoping I would get a little bit more sun, but I, I kind of planned it very badly, and I didn't have enough battery power to transmit uh, much further than the upper atmosphere. All that's left is a solar panel and a strut section once this thing finally explodes. And that is it. If you like, subscribe, comment, and put in your requests. Stay tuned for the next part.